It knows also how old the tire is, what the sizes are. All this information can be incorporated into the functionalities. The container uh -huh. is in there, right? but there's a little tool. It's like a plier, which allows me to take this out, put it in the next tire. Okay. And this, of course, requires the process of making sure this one knows I'm in a new tire, which might be the same or might be a different one. So we have to ensure that this data is carried over. There's certain mechanisms to ensure this, but the idea is definitely there's a one-to-one -one association with the current tire and the module, but it's also intended to last with one battery for seven to ten years, so one battery, one lifetime. It's the container that gets thrown away, so there's no electronic that's thrown away, it's the cheap container. There are sensors in there, and the sensors feel when you hit the street, when you enter the street, and it also feels when you're just leaving the street. You basically know how long this area is, yeah. you know the tire type, the tire dimension, so you know how wide this area is. You have the area, you have the pressure, and load is area times pressure. Right. And then you have the load. And then what you, what you also can do, if you monitor very carefully how the tire enters and leaves the street, this is modulated by the thickness of the tread. So we can provide tread depth detection. So this is actually the next big functionality. We think the last 10 years have been about pressure and pressure monitoring. What's the next big property of the tire that can feature safety? It would be to know the tire integrity and the first property of tire integrity is the, is the tread depth. So with this module, we can go into tread depth detection. And you say you don't have it on any cars yet? We don't have it on any cars yet, no. no. Okay. So we're going from anonymous pressure detection to non-anonymous pressure monitoring, load detection and tread depth detection. And just because of the way it, it can contact the road? It's a very intricate the, yeah. process, yeah. yeah. You can imagine that if there's a lot of profile, this process will be cushioned in a different way as if there's no more profile. Yeah. So if you reduce profile, the impact of the street, the cushioning will be modulated. Yeah. It's of course modulated by a lot of other things, but all the other things we can measure, like load or pressure. Yeah. So it's an indirect um, detection system.